what is real, what is real about what we see, what is real about what we experience around us. Science will tell us that much of our experience is illusion. So how do I work with that? How do I play with that in a way which is satisfying and goes further than the moment-to-moment -moment experience that, that the illusion provides? I'm Patrick Earl. I'm a colorist, painter uh, in digital and I transitioned to that from having been an oil painter of portraits. One thing which drives me is the belief that there is much more colour in the world than we experience. I'm trying to get the intensity of what's there and pull it out and present it in a way that people can look at and experience. Um, which they may not experience in their day-to-day -day lives. When we see uh, paintings, when we see photographs, we see everything as one colour. But in real life, um, when you're looking at a colour on the side of a table, on the floor, uh, it's multiple different colours at the same time. Your brain is just translating it as if it was one, but it feels totally different. So uh, as an example, a piece of, of blue sky casts blue light onto a wooden floor, and that piece of floor might look gray. If you tried to say, okay, what color is it? It's gray, but actually inside your eye, you're receiving both the, the orangey color of the wood and the blue of the sky. And that gives a much more intense, engaging sensation to it than you'll ever get from a, a camera photograph or, or even an oil painting. There were several benefits of going to digital, uh, other than the obvious that that's the way the world is going. But it does allow you to be much more focused on the creative side. It's much easier to get the piece of color that you want, the kind of brush that you want, um, as compared to working in oil paint. For me, it led to a split brain. There was my craft brain, <laughs> and then there was my creative brain. Uh, and digital allowed me to work for the creative brain. Lucien Freud paints people where he really gets to, what does he think the color of a piece of skin is? I'm thinking back to Monet now. There are eight very large paintings that come from um, the pond, and they are fantastically beautiful abstract paintings. The, you know, the subject matter is completely irrelevant in them. When I look at them, I realize that um, uh, somebody like Rothko, there's a feel about the use of color and the way that the colors interact that is very similar between Rothko's paintings and Monet's paintings, which were 70 years earlier. But the one that, that I consistently come back to is Diebenkorn. He painted landscape and the shape of landscapes. The whole painting is, is structured in a way which is pleasing to the eye, but also is a reflection of nature. So there are strong verticals and horizontals, but also uh, the flows and discontinuities of other things and colors that go into each other. And he's a painter that I keep on coming back to. Anything that's around, you can spend some time looking at, at like it was a painting. Sometimes you sit in front of paintings for a long period of time, trying to get out of them what's there and, and be uh, filled by them. Uh, but you can do it in almost any space. We tend to look at natural things as the sea is blue, the sky is blue, the leaves are green. But the more you look at them, the more, especially in different times of day, different colors of light, the more you see um, other colors in them. 
and you can represent paintings in different ways that explore those colours. Uh, the other thing which is constantly fascinating to me about nature is the shape of things. So, um, uh, in the natural world, you don't get solid lines, but you do get an energetic support line. <laughs> so, you know, a branch and another branch in a tree will be kind of in the same direction. And there is an organization about how things fit together. And that's something which I think is, is incredibly intriguing and is something that I te tend to try and grasp the essence of that in the way the marks in my paintings fit together. Keeping the sense of freedom and flow uh, in the work is really important and so uh, that's one of the challenges of, of working on an iPad. Um, otherwise I work on it in a very similar way to um, an oil painting. So I'll start off the bottom layer um, by picking a colour uh, that's suitable for the painting to cover the whole painting in and then I work in layers after that. So. Uh, start off by making some marks that in shape and structure and core colour are uh, have something to say to the content I'm beginning and then uh, work underneath it to structure the canvas a bit from then it's okay so what's the next thing that makes the picture a better image. Can you see those colours in that circumstance? Can you see uh, deep red in a green leaf? Um, and what would it mean if you could? It's engaging in the intensity and colours that are evident in a particular circumstances. The more abstract ones, uh, I would think about structure of the images, I think about the colours that are there and the, the implicit question in it, which is, um, are those colours around us in day-to-day -day life? You know, can you, do you enjoy it? <laughs> you know, can you get into it and have fun? Can you look at how each mark, how a mark is relating to another mark? And uh, is that pleasing or is that not pleasing? Why is it pleasing? What, and that's the level at which I tend to work on. I would encourage people to look at any abstract painting for longer periods of time because there's more to be got out of them. It's a dialogue between yourself and the painting. Um, if it's one that you look at and enjoy, sit with it for a while, let it land for longer. Um, see more in it, there will be more in it, whether it's my work or other people's work, it makes no difference just be there for it. It feeds my soul to uh, look at things on the outside and try and create and get involved in the process of creating. The more I do, the more I see of colour around, um, the more it deeply I get involved in that and that process is deeply fulfilling for me and has led to the moment and moment uh, living of life to being in a better place, a more interesting place.